So why would someone use a dark pool if not for something dark, ominous, and mysterious? Well, one of the biggest advertised reasons for why people use dark pools is that it helps people carrying out block trades, which just really means large trades for a given stock, without significantly moving the price of that position until after the trade is completed. You see, in public markets, trades themselves are considered a type of signal. Uh, if a trader notices that a mutual fund is dumping a large position, if they have this pending order to sell a bunch of a given stock, they'll naturally interpret that as meaning that that mutual fund might have information about that company uh, that will lower the price in its future. And before that pending order gets fulfilled, given that it's such a large order and likely won't be able to be filled right away, other traders might lower the price of that stock to digest this information or perhaps even take advantage of this sell, uh, again, before that trade gets executed, mean that the mutual fund will realize a lower price than what they were perhaps hoping for. If a stock is trading currently in other transactions at $10 a share, their large order might only see an average fill price of say $9.80. In other words, large sell orders can actually hurt the price of the stock before they get completed, meaning that the seller is on the receiving end of, of that negative return. With dark pools, however, again, this pre-trade information is not shared among market participants, meaning that it itself won't inherently move the stock price before that share sell gets completed. 